Hello, today we're going to be reviewing and discussing the case trapper model here. Uh, the trapper pattern has been with us since the 1880s and it has been in direct sales competition with the Stockman's uh, three blade Stockman. Uh, depending upon the year, one would sell more than the other, but basically they were kind of the uh, pocket knife of choice for several years. Uh, this particular model here, the blade length is three inches. The handle length is four and a quarter for an overall length of seven and three eighths. Trap, uh, case also offers a mini trapper, they call it, which is slightly smaller, but we're going to concentrate on this model here today. The handle material case offers a myriad of handle materials from just black synthetic to carbon fiber uh, to stag and so forth. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the yellow handle here. They also offer two forms of steel. They offer a proprietary, what they call their true sharp stainless steel, which means it has a minimum of 13% chromium. That gives it a rating of true stainless steel. The other steel they offer is their proprietary chrome vanadium steel. This should not be confused with those cheap third world tools that say chrome vanadium on one side and you flip it over and it says Pakistan. Not to be confused. The chrome vanadium steel holds a pretty good edge. Uh, one time I helped a gentleman tear out some old carpet and one of the knives that I had with me was this knife itself. You will note that each knife that's in these reviews has actually been to the field and has been used. It's not something fresh out of the box and we're not contriving all of this as we go along. But anyway, the uh, chrome vanadium held up reasonably well under the abuse of dirty old carpet and it's one of the most abusive things you can cut. I won't make any grand statements about it, but it actually held up very well. Uh, chrome vanadium steel acquires a very nostalgic patina. So it kind of has this gray look about it, kind of like Jedediah Smith brought it over here over the Rockies. Also, the blade choices in the, on this model are this. It's a classic clip style point, which is good for you name it, it'll it. The second blade is a, an elongated or lengthened what they call spay blade, and this was designed for the removal of the pelt for the animal that was trapped, hence the term trapper. And this was in the good old days before PETA and synthetic uh, insulations. Case offers a single blade variant to this one here, and as you notice, this thing's been through it and done it. Great little blade, talk about it later. Also Case offers, complete with their logo and portrait of good old WR Case, a, a belt sheath that fits the Trapper model very well. Drops right in there and this is, can be used if you don't want to blow a hole in your pocket because everyone knows that a quarter size object will fall out the, a dime size hole in your pocket. This might be a good uh, adjunct to your equipment instead of just carrying it in a pocket. I worked for a ranch here in the Southern California and we still had cattle and horses here and many of the real cattlemen that I knew carried a variant of this theme, whether it be by this, by Case or by Buck or whoever. Another gentleman I know uh, annually travels to Colorado to hunt elk and he carries two trappers to field dress his elk. I sharpen them for him when he gets back so they do both get used in the field. And the late Finn Agar wrote in his book Hunting Cartridges and Rifles uh, that he actually recommended one of these. This for when you don't need a uh, fixed or lock back blade. Uh, just to make sure you don't wind up minus a finger. So that's the thing on uh, our review here. But through the miracle of television, we're going to go out to the asphalt jungle of the wilds of Rancho Cucamonga, California, to can you continue this review. Here we are through the miracle of television and video in the wilds of deepest, darkest Rancho Cucamonga, California. We're going to demonstrate here why Case has produce the yellow handle inserts and it's for the same reason that the original Victorinox Swiss Army knives were done the same. We're going to show you a real quick picture here in the, uh, the soil of Rancho Cucamonga as to why they have done that. Here we are giving the example as to why the uh, yellow handle is so good in the field. You notice Case's classic bone handle at the top disappears right there on the soil and the yellow handle stands out vividly. Also you notice the red of the Victorinox stands out but the yellow gives you a greater contrast. Here again we're showing the contrasts. So if you were out in your alfalfa field and dropped your case yellow handle, you could find it readily. We've relocated 
here in the wilds of Rancho Cucamonga to demonstrate the practical, everyday use of the case trapper model. Uh, such mundane things as trimming a radiator hose. You'll notice that the length of the clip point is just right for trimming a radiator hose, something we do on a semi-regular basis if you're working on vehicles. And secondly, it's also quite thin and it will go right through it. Now, well, all of us may not have to skin a Grizz in the Klondike in the dark, but I'll bet you nickel we've all been in on working on cars and trimming radiators, hoses. Second thing, I know this has never happened to you, but I've just heard of it happening. That you get done with what you're doing here under the hood, and you've somehow or another set the knife down and forgot where you laid it. And you'll notice that the, the case trapper model is very visible, so you can retrieve it and it doesn't get tangled in the fan or something horrible. Thank you for your viewership. We'll be doing some future uh, postings. We hope to take up with the uh, Buck Stockman and its history and its times. And we'd like to thank Josh for diligently putting up with moving the sound equipment and the photography today. Thank you and goodbye.